I am going to react to Josh reacting to the new Forbidden and Limited list for the TCG. I think Jesse Cotton's up to something because if he's seen his highlights channel. Oh my gosh. So uh, yeah, if y'all don't know what we do, we do a reactception. We are literally going to react to Josh reacting to this. A reactception. Everyone stay calm. Everyone, I'm telling this to myself. The battle list is here, so let us talk about it. I have, we're, we're gonna go through one by one. Uh, it's not a complete blind react because the first way I found out about it was this post right here. Uh, and obviously I can see the cover cards already, but let's, let's go through yeah, one by same one. With I don't want to uh, waste any time on any thumbnails, warm -ups, anything including else. Including this one. Uh, forbidden, Link Karibo is, is the cover of the uh, thing. That's crazy. I never thought they would do limit. it. I'm not oh saying gosh. that's not warranted. Oh I think that's completely reasonable, actually. Um, considering how much it does exactly right now for the, um, Savage. for the Snake Eye deck. I didn't think that was going to be the angle they hit it, but here we are. I'm not complaining about it, though. Um, Baron the Fleur is also crazy. I never thought this was going to happen, but I, I'm happy it did. I'm actually, I'm genuinely happy about Baron being gone. I, um, even though, you know, uh, she's been a mainstay in, in all my runic synchro versions or whatever, I'm, I'm glad to, to give that one up. And Borolote Savage is here as well. Literally, Almost the trinity of what people have been asking for, or what we've been discussing recently. Um, the only thing that's missing is Apollosa, which I think is a little bit of a bummer, because it, um, it still makes a lot of combo decks able to play around Nibiru. Um, however, I will say, I think Baron is a better card than Apollosa, so I think we'll take that. Um, I, I think the reason, the reason is probably uh, that Apollosa is in Rarity Collection too, uh, which kind of makes sense. And Baron is kind of like... I know it kind of sucks because it just became affordable with Rarity Collection 1. I understand that. At the same time, that is probably the reason why they do it now. They didn't want to do it when it was still expensive. Now that it was affordable and cheap and all that kind of stuff, they banned it. Which I think on the one hand is kind of sad for the people that finally got it. On the other hand, it's, it's, it, this card, it, it needed to go. It's been a problem since its release, essentially. So I'm glad it, it happened. Uh, and then Summon Limit also got banned. Honestly, these bans are phenomenal so far. I don't know exactly what's all on Limited, Semi-Limited, Unlimited, but these bans are great. Literally, give me an Appalooza on top of that, and, and this is the, the dream scenario, um, uh, unironically. Yeah, so Link Karibo, it had to be banned because it's a one of. There wouldn't semi limit it unless they gave it that SP treatment if you've seen the OCG ban list. What the heck was that? So they're really indirectly hitting Snake Eyes, pretty much all three extra deck cards here. What the reasons for not banning the Appaloosa makes sense for what Josh said because it's going to be in Rarity Collection too, so they want people to buy the product. And Baron and Boral load. Oh my gosh, they're really hitting the generic stuff. Interesting. Maybe they're gonna errata Boral load to make it like this pattern, a non-tuner dragon. That would be good. I mean, a non-tuner rocket monster would be really specific. I don't know if they would ever do that. Interesting. They're not hitting any Snake Eye stuff as a ban. So right off the bat, this 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 I, i'm happy with this i am happy with this it doesn't have a direct fire hit yet uh we're gonna see if that's part of the other hits um but it's it still hits pure i mean pure snake eye it just doesn't get to do what it does anymore but we'll see um let's just go Ooh, let's just yeah, go through everything before we point. talk about the state of whatever decks are in right um okay so the kirin the kirin in the in the in the preview window Protoss? nemesis proto okay that's okay. The, that's the first bummer i'm not a fan of that Title? um what i'm not heck? a fan of protoss because it is just a, a floodgate it's Okay, I was going to say, like, are they going to hit an anti-spell? There it is. Okay. Colossus is crazy. And um, the most su surprising thing is chicken game. I guess that makes sense, but that's kind of good for Snake Eyes since chicken game stays on the field unlike Upstart. So you can use it for Diabell Star or even original Sinful Spoils. Essentially. Um, I will say, though, I, I, I see where they're coming from. I see where they are coming from with this one. I don't like this one. Um, but I don't think it's worth complaining about, if, if that makes sense. You know, with, like, I, I'd gladly take Summon Limit Band and, and give them one Protoss back for specifically, like, Sword Solo or whatever. Um, like I said, I'm not a fan of this card. I, I, I wish it would have stayed banned, but yeah, it is what it is. I guess Sword Soul players are, are happy about this, and I'm gonna be honest with you, Sword Soul kinda, kinda needs the help, so whatever. Title... As, as happy as I am about this, this could have gone to three and it wouldn't have mattered. So, like, we've, we've already established this. Dragon rulers are not even that good anymore. So, this is just a matter of time until all the dragon rules go back to three. It's so hard to talk about one thing without ignoring the thing under it because there's so many things here. Colossus, 
same thing as with Protoss. Uh, I'm not a fan of Colossus as a card because it is a floodgate. At the same time, Thunder Dragon as an archetype hasn't done anything in the last couple years, pretty much. So you can't really argue that they can get something back. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Like, Colossus is um, a floodgate, so I, I don't want to speak too positively about it. But similar as with Protoss, um, I have less of an issue with, with a floodgate if it is only in one deck. If it's like the specialty of this one deck, right? Like a... Thunder Dragon gets to do Colossus, or Sword Soul gets to do Protoss, right? Obviously, you can maybe do it in some other decks, but I... Look, I can already see that there's an anti-spell down there, and I, I can already tell you, I would... Every day of the week, I take Ban Summon Limit and Limit Anti-Spell um, for Limit Protoss and Limit Colossus. That's a trade-off that is good for the game. I'll take that one. Um, obviously, it'd be better if all of them were gone, but still, I'm just looking at the... You know, the trade-off that we're being offered here, or I mean, we're not being offered it, we're just being forced to, to take that trade-off. I'll take it, though. I I'm happy with that. The concept of it being a trade-off, that's interesting. I wouldn't have thought of it that way. But I think Thunder Dragon Colossus coming back, maybe they're going to give some Thunder Dragon support, or they're, they just want to have some, I don't know, deck diversity to hit some of the top decks. Well, I mean roll wasn't really good against snake eyes but i don't know the fact that you can't add poplar at all with snake eyes ash because of colossus because you can't add in the first place unlike droll you can add once and then you'll get floodgated so i guess maybe they're trying to hit the meta or they're gonna have some new support it's possible i mean what was something that was banned before that ended up getting some new support or unbanned that started getting some new support. I don't know, I can't think of anything on the top of my head, but it's happened before. Magic Specters, I think they're getting new support, or they already have new support. So they're unbanning Kirin, so that's an example. Kirin back to one, it was a matter of time, it makes sense. Uh, I don't even know if this really helps Magic Specter that much. It definitely does help, but uh, I don't know if it makes it meta relevant, but I'm, I'm a fan of this. I think Kirin could have come back a while ago without being a problem. I actually think that, <laughs> funnily enough, a bounce is one of the most interactive things that a pendulum deck does these days. You know, normally pendulum decks would be would be spamming Baron and, and Savage. They can't do that anymore. So I guess it's good that they gave them Kirin. And I'm, I'm going to be honest, playing against the bounce is, is fine these days. And the fact that it comes back every turn is also okay. The game has gotten a lot grindier. A lot of decks can keep up with that grind game. I'm, I'm happy Kirin is back to one. Uh, chicken game to one, I'm also a big fan of. Honestly, I've been waiting for this card to come back. Uh, it's at three in Master Duel, it doesn't do anything. Upstart is at three, it doesn't do anything. The fact that Chicken Game is a field spell makes it so that you can potentially pair it with, like, Ancient Fairy Dragon or whatever, which, but in any, in any, like, I think that's cool. I think that'd be a cool way to use the card. Um, so I think one Chicken Game is kind of like a sweet spot for it, because it makes it so you have, like, a, you can play it as, like, a secondary target for terraforming, you can play it to make your Ancient yeah. Fairy life, because Ancient Fairy can't search a different, uh, can't search the same field spell anymore, so you need a second field spell for it. I, I think that's cool. I think these sort of interactions are, are why Chicken Game should probably be I'm, I'm happy with it being exactly at one, so that's a that's a W in my book. Uh, and then anti-spell. Chicken game as an ancient fairy dragon target. That's interesting. I mean, it'll make it harder for your opponent to OTK if they don't destroy it. But if you don't get rid of it on your turn, then they'll be able to draw one card with it. So I think Snake Eyes would benefit the most from it like pretty much any variant because you could use Diabell Star and the Snake Eyes monsters to send it away for their effects. And Terraforming's in the TCG, not in Master Duel. So that's fine if you're gonna play t play Terraforming, then you can play Chicken Game as well. And also Chicken Game is more viable in TCG than Master Duel because TCG you'll have more deck space because you don't have to play Maxi and it's anti-Maxi cards like Ash called by cross out so chicken games more it's more viable in the tcg than in master duel a limited honestly it's been a long time coming i it, nothing makes me happier so far than seeing summon limit and anti-spell even the baron one um i'm not as happy as seeing these floodgates finally getting what they deserve uh, it's super super dope um once again this one doesn't have a single fire hit so uh, we we have to see about that okay we only have two semi limits we a baron hit in master duel would be crazy but it's also possible well i mean i don't think baron's hit in ocg so they might not follow the tcg and more the ocg but it's not unlikely because baron is used in super heavy samurai and it's used in snake eyes which are two of the top decks in master duel currently and hitting those decks indirectly by hitting baron could be possible because the snake eye stuff is still new ish fire hit 
So uh, we, we have to see about that. Okay, we only have two semi limits. We have Pearly Delicious Memory going from one to two, which is a significant boost to Pearly. Um, that's interesting. I believe, if anything, that is fine. I don't have an issue with that. I mean, Pearly still remains this. Like, I, I'm a fan of Pearly's playstyle, and I think it does deserve a little bit of help from the ban list. So in that in that regard, I'm happy with this. Um, on the other hand, I still I'm still not a fan of what the goal of Pearly is, right? I'm not a fan of X Purely Noir as the boss monster of the archetype. So that's always kind of like a, a little bit of a I don't know, it's a little bit of a of a downside for me whenever Pearly becomes relevant, but I think that's fine. I think uh I don't I don't see Pearly outperforming some of the modern decks. I think that's okay. Uh Armageddon Knight semi-limited is also completely fine. We don't have to talk about that for too long. Um that's fine. I honestly don't Yeah, Armageddon Knight in the TCG doesn't matter. It's at three. I think it's at three in the master duel. It just got recently unlimited. And especially with Isold gone in. The TCG Armageddon Knight can just go to three. It's whatever. I don't have an issue with Armageddon Knight. I think that card could even be at three. I think that's okay. Um, without Isold, I don't even know if it starts any crazy one card combos these days. I think that's fine. Uh, okay. Oh, also, by the way, this means um, no fire hits outside of the extra deck. We'll talk oh. about that in a second. Let me finish the thing. Uh, Malicious Unlimited. Okay, we're going for another round. Malicious okay, Unlimited wow. is very interesting. That is very strong and could be re very relevant. I don't know where exactly, oh, but Malicious, mind you, has already seen a decent amount of play at two. Um, and I think three, I mean, like, I don't know, making Beatrice with it or whatever, that's great. Like, Tier Laments definitely appreciates yep, that. Tier Maybe some other decks do too. I mean, Heroes probably appreciate that as well. That's... Good. I mean, I'm not against it, though. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm a fan of Malicious. I like it. I think it was perfectly fine at two. We'll see if three becomes an issue. Let's 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 phrase it like that. Let's let's see if three becomes an issue. I think three Malicious and one... Uh, what's the other guy called? The, not Denier. Um, is it Denier? Yeah, Denier. The guy that has synergy with Malicious? It is Denier. Yep, it is Denier. Denier. Okay. Yeah. Um, three Malicious and Denier is an interesting package. We'll see. Uh, hard power to three. Irrelevant, honestly. I mean, if anything, good change. Uh, Orcus... Whoa triple malicious plus denier you can if you have malicious and denier in rotation you can summon out four maliciouses i think can definitely need the help terra top to three fine um also okay and then the big one down here we get the third engage i've been saying this i've been saying this i wanted this um there the copy pastas are already here in all sort of languages okay <laughs> triple armageddon knight plus triple malicious that would be a one card isold but the fact that Isold's gone, I, I guess it makes sense that these warriors are coming back <laughs> because they can't be abused. Engage to three is um is good. I, I think that's good. Oh my god, yes. I love Ray. Good. I think pure Sky Striker can need the help. And honestly, the um the Sky Striker package that I, for example, I played this in Snake Eyes, um, was a very fun experience to me because the Sky Striker spells are super interactive and all that kind of stuff. I I've been enjoying um seeing decks with the Sky Striker package being utilized, and I think with three engaged, that is more likely to be a good way to approach the game. You know, like a, any deck that plays like Board Breakers, uh, like Talents Thrust, Engage, it's pretty cool. I like that kind of stuff. So I'm happy to see Engage back to three, and pure Sky Striker, even with three engage, I don't think is going to be a problem. Um, so that is cool in my book. Using Engage as an engine is viable now because it's unlimited. That's interesting. Ooh, I mean, Chicken Game doesn't go to the graveyard for engage but mm, i don't know triple upstart one chicken game triple engage i don't know you could play like a really small deck interesting there's room for testing dude that was a lot to process that's a lot of changes let me breathe for a moment breathe. and think about what i think of this now my first my my, my i have two two thoughts two thoughts so link Kribo being at zero you could swap it out for relinquished anima which can still make bonfire into poplar summon that a one card combo still okay my first thought is that almost I'm, I'm a fan of almost every single hit here um outside of colossus and protoss maybe i am a fan of every th every single thing they did here there is nothing here where i'm like I disagree with this change very hard. Like there's, the, like I said, outside of maybe Protoss and Colossus, and even those two, I don't have a big issue with. Um, everything else is a card moving in the right direction, and that's always a good thing. Um, like Link Karibo, fine ban. Bar Baron, good ban. Savage, good ban. Summon Limit, phenomenal ban. Um, Anti Spell, phenomenal limit. Bringing back all these other guys is fine. I'm a fan of Chicken Game. I'm a fan of Kirin. Title should go to three. Colossus and Protoss could have stayed banned, but okay. 
Uh, Armageddon and Delicious Memory are cards moving in the right direction, and all these unbans I'm also a fan of. So those, those things being said, I'm a fan of these changes. Terror Talk, it's in Master Duel, it's at 3, doesn't do too much. I mean, there's Maxi in the format, so it gets punished sometimes. If you're going to play some generic wombo combo spam special summon deck, especially if you're going to spam out Ice Sold and do some 50 special summon combo. Invoker, oh, it's still banned in the TCG. Okay. All right. Interesting. So you can't abuse MX Saber Invoker in the TCG. You can still go into Cherubini with Terra Top and then go into the Adventure Engine. So that's viable. Triple Enchantress, triple Aramisir, triple Terra Top, plus one Foolish Burial. That's 10 ways. Damn, what the heck? I mean, that's a really good ratio to the number of bricks you play. And I think the, the, all of these are good for the game. However, I can't help but notice that there is no ch change to the Snake Eye core whatsoever, right? Um, the question that remains to be seen is how important is it that they basically take away a lot of the fundamentals from their extra deck, right? Like, no Baron, no Savage, no Link Karibo. We're gonna have to wait and see how much that changes for Fire Decks. Um, it doesn't change as much right off the bat for Snake Eye Fire King, right? Snake Eye Fire King only loses Link Karibo, literally, right? And that is scary, right? That is scary. I, that, that's the thing. That's the thing. If, if this list also hit Appalooza, then basically... Any combo deck would have probably died to Nibiru almost every time, right? The fact that we still have Appalooza means that we have to go and um, we have to go ahead and always just make an Appalooza line now, right? Which they didn't hit IP Mascarena. I think they would probably hit IP before hitting Appalooza because IP really facilitates a lot of the summonings of the Appalooza. So maybe they hit IP. I don't know, before they hit Appaloosa, that's possible. I don't know. I mean, you could still make Appaloosa on turn one and not on your opponent's turn, but I don't know. IP does do a lot because you do summon out Appaloosa using the Snake Eyes monsters that you summon off with Flamberge on your opponent's turn to make Appaloosa along with the IP. It could be impactful still because, like, I mean, Baron and Savage were part of a lot of the lines for a good reason, right? Um, but Appalooza is still not that hard to make, right? Especially with the with the Snake Eye field spell in, in rotation. Like, you just go Poplar for the field spell, and then you just do your thing uh, and make Apple at some point. If they nib you before, you get the field spell to summon out, all that stuff, right? I, I'm not sure if this is going to be enough. My prediction is that Fire is still going to be the best deck. Um, it's, going to be, it, it's going to allow more counterplay, though. Um, because let me tell you, no matter what version of Fire you play now, right? You play... Snake Eye Fire King, or maybe even pure Snake Eye, or another version of Snake Eye, you simply cannot, to my knowledge, at this point in time, you cannot make Omni Negates anymore, right? You can't make Baron or Savage. You can make Appalooza, you can make all that kind of stuff, you can make Monster Negates, but you can't do anything about Talents, for example, right? Like, if, think of it this way, right? If people still oh, play in the yeah. room, and everyone is forced to summon, like, Appalooza, the uh, Triple Tactics Talents is going to break those boards almost every time, right? Like, the, 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 the deck is going to be very weak to board breakers, right? Um, maybe True. you can probably find a way to make, um, to make Omni Negate somehow, like Herald of the Arclight or whatever, right? Maybe you can do something, um, but those lines are going to be way different than what you know, right? You, you, yeah, we're going to have to wait and see. We are going to wait, have to wait and see. I, I will say, don't underestimate the impact that a Baron and Savage ban has on the game, right? Like the, the, the fact that you can now basically play board breakers against every variation of Fire King, uh, Snake Eyes rather, is potentially very, very impactful. And that does make it a lot more fun. Um, like, I, I'm just now remembering when I was playing, I was playing a, uh, a Snake Eye deck with board breakers at my, uh, a couple of weeks ago at a regional where I didn't play Baron, I didn't play Savage, I was just going for like normal lines and playing a lot of board breakers. Those games were a lot of fun. I actually enjoyed that a lot. And if my opponents are forced to do the same, I think that's going to be cool. I think the fact that they enabled board breakers again because Baron and Savage are gone is cool. Um, so I honestly, overall, I think it's, a, I think it's a good list. I think I'm happy. I'm happy. Um, I'm looking forward to, to see what this, what this does to the game. Um, I, I also noticed people in chat are saying that it's missing, um, it's missing Gimmick Puppet or Sanctifier. That is true. That is sad. I would have liked to see that. I would have liked to see them get rid of Gimmick Puppet. That would be cool. Um, outside of that, I mean, yeah, a small, a small hit to the Snake Eye deck itself would have been nice. Like, if they would have, I don't know, limited Wanted or limited Snake Eye Ash. Literally, my, 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 my final take is if they had banned Sanctifier and limited Snake Eye Ash or Wanted, this would have been perfect. This would have literally been perfect. I would have sat here and had nothing to criticize. Um, 
And Apple, yeah, Apple, Apple was Apple was going to be a uh, wishful thinking anyways, though, because it gets it still is that, uh, like out for the Rarity Collection 2 reprint, right? I don't know how long s s the Snake Eye stuff has been in the TCG because I'm a, I'm a Master Duel player. But I mean, they recently hit Snake Eyes and Diabell Star in the OCG. So hitting it in the TCG now, I don't think they would because that would be a lot sooner it would be much sooner than they would have done it in the ocg so hitting it now probably wouldn't happen maybe later i don't know we'll see after they hit the after what they've done with the indirect hits to the fire decks here Pro protoss is cringe protoss is cringe protoss is cringe and colossus is cringe too however you guys I overestimate how relevant these cards are going to be i don't think you will see them that's the thing um i don't think you will see them very often uh and once again once again the ban list isn't perfect, but the way I like to look at it, the way I like to look at it is I, I like to evaluate. It's, it's a trade-off, essentially. And if you had asked me yesterday, would you take a Baron, Savage, Link, Karibu, and Summon Limit ban and an Anti-Spell Limit in exchange for Colossus and Protoss? The answer is yes, every single day of the week. Every single day of the week, I would take that trade. There's something interesting because I thought of Formula Synchron being useless now that Baron is banned, but Josh did say Herald of the Arclight, which you can summon using the Formula Synchron, but also you might be able to make some cheese with Formula Synchron by summoning out Cupid Pitch and then adding the Corridor with the Cupid Pitch and then summoning out Corridor to summon out Colossus, which you might be able to do with Snake Eyes. That would be really toxic. Oh gosh, man, ending on Appaloosa plus the Colossus for Snake Eyes, that might be an end board that's possible. That would be really terrible. Oh gosh. Nets with the correct take. They banned Link Karibo, Dino best deck. <laughs> what? <laughs> Anyways. Um... Yeah, no, this uh, this one caught me really off guard because it's it's kind of late. We were busy. We had we have guests over. It's been it's been kind of out of nowhere. Um. I think it's good though, guys. I, I think it's good. I'm a fan of it. I'm a fan. I like it. I think uh, I think a small tweaks here and there would have been healthy. Um, I would have liked to see a main deck hit to Snake Eyes. I would have liked to see Sanctifier go. Obviously, there's always something. There's always something. Like, hey, maybe uh, maybe you could say, hey, Shifter should have been here. Yes, you're right. Shifter should have been here. Um, Apple, yeah, Apple probably should have been here from a pure uh, from a pure game design perspective. Apple should have been here, right? Uh, I agree. But um, overall, I think I'll take it. I'll take it. I will take it. I'm happy. So let me know what you think, whether you're watching this live right now or whether you're watching this on YouTube, because this is definitely going to be a YouTube video. Let Harpies me know what you think. Storm. Let me know if this makes you want to try anything. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm just happy that like Baron is gone. Literally, Baron being gone is, is a big deal for me. Summon Limit and Anti-Spell are just perfect uh, hits. So I'm really, really happy. Is this... Is th okay, this one is in effect. Um, okay, this is weird. This thing has two effective dates. Effective from April 15th for North and Latin America. Effective from April 22nd for EU... M.E., Africa, and Oceania. What the heck? So this is before YCS Rally, right? They didn't want it to be in effect for YCS for... Okay, hold up. Please note, our decision to postpone the effective prom date for the new Forbidden Limited list in our region was to give our players some more time to update their decks before the next major event, in this case, the French Open. Thank you for your understanding. Yo, is that communication? Is that, is that communication from Konami? Am I dreaming? That's crazy. That's so nice. <laughs> Thanks for letting us know. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, keep, 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 doing, keep giving us little things like this. Give us little things of communication. Give us like a, yo, we did this because that. You know, that's cool. We, like, we appreciate that. Okay. Um, Development? This is going to be an effect for YCS Rally. I'm, so, I'm, I'm like twice as hyped to commentate and watch YCS Rally now. We'll be doing that on stream, obviously. Um, super, super hyped for all of this. Um, I, I'll say this. I think, I think the way it's going to pan out, the way it's going to pan out is Snake Eyes are still going to be played a lot and they're still going to be very strong, specifically probably Fire King Snake Eye. However, the Fire King Snake Eye deck has a lot of counterplay, a lot more counterplay than the, the pure Snake Eye deck, right? And so I think we're going to see two camps of people, people that are going to be still playing the Fire deck because a lot of the combos are still possible even without Link Karibo. Um, and then we're going to see people who are going to try to exploit the fact that pretty much everyone is going to be playing Fire King Snake Eye or definitely versions of Snake Eye that can't make Omni Negates, right? So you can you can count on your talents resolving. Like if they have to make Apple, you just take the Apple. Uh, if you because you have three talents and three trust, uh, you can evenly them maybe. That's still that's still probably not that great, but you can. Um, you don't have to worry about Baron okay. or Savage, right? That was the biggest thing I was worried about when I was playing Board Breakers. You know, I can solo release the Fire King deck with no with no no trouble you know you can magical spring the fire king deck i think there's a lot Ooh. more counterplay and i think that's a good way magical to do it if spring. they don't want to hit the snake eye cards yet because they're super expensive they're super new right they don't want to hit any of the fire king cards the, the snake eye cards directly right at least make it so there's more counterplay that's phenomenal right that's a good decision if they want to not touch any snake eye cards so guys once again let me know what you think i'm very uh, interested in what your guys's opinion is right and don't just hit me with the hey where is that card right don't be a little bit more nuanced than that right give me some like hey this is good or this is bad because 
like sophisticated reasoning, not just like, hey, they didn't hit uh, Apollosa, this list is trash. Like, come on. Like, yes, there's stuff is missing. I'm not saying that nothing is missing. I'm not saying it's perfect. I'm just saying like, there's more to it than just like, they didn't hit this one card, therefore it's trash, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> Chat cannot be nuanced. I mean, yeah. Why no? It's why not? P semi limit. I mean, yeah. oh, uh, this is uh, SP, I thought maybe the one thing that was IP. really missing is the SP semi limit. It's the third SP that really gets you, right? <laughs> why not hit Jet? Um, you could have hit Jet, and that would have also been okay. However, I think Baron is not only a problem in Snake Eye, right? Like, think of what this does to some other decks, right? Like, for example, without Baron, um, I believe Super Heavy Samurai would have had a much harder time to play around Nibiru, as an example, right? Like, that would have been a bigger problem for the deck uh, than it ever was because that card existed. Manadium makes a Baron before five. It, I don't think Manadium makes an easy Apple before five and still combos after. Like, that is not that. Simple. It's like Apollosa requires more investment to make before uh, five summons than, uh, than a Baron, right? And so like Nibiru is going to be a big deal for combo decks now, as it should be. Like certain types of combo decks should lose yep. if the opponent has Nibiru. That should be the risk that you take when you play like Monadium, in my opinion, right? Like if, if you play something like Monadium that is so focused on comboing so crazy when you go first, they should lose to something like Nibiru. That's the point of Nibiru. Um, I wonder what OCG thinks of this list. OCG probably thinks, um, how am I going to play around Nibiru now with my combo deck? I want to solitaire for 10 minutes. Um, and also, where the hell is Maxi? <laughs> That's what they think, but it's a good thing that we are not the OCG. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this was my uh, this was my initial reaction. Uh, I appreciate you all for coming through. Obviously, appreciate all the subs and all that. I know I know you're all hyped, but I I, I was kind of busy before this. I was kind of caught off guard by this, so I'm gonna head off. I hope you enjoyed this this prime this 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 instant reaction. And uh, yeah, I mean, you guys have a wonderful rest of your of your week. All right, thanks, Josh. Yeah, that's a good point. Talking about Nibiru being much better because you won't be able to have it negated before the fifth summon or on the fifth summon by summoning out. Baron. Ooh, I mean, maybe Crossout might be much more played now in the main deck, side deck, to counter Baron, which is possible, or not Baron to counter Nibiru, which is possible. I don't know. This is really, really interesting. I mean, they've done indirect hits in Master Duel for some of the meta decks, and it hasn't been this crazy from what I remember. So this is going to be really interesting. And Colossus being legal in all formats i mean it being illegal in the tcg with no maxi that's also wild i don't know what they'll do in the tcg but keep a pitch into corridor into colossus using snake eyes that is an actual possibility so cupid pitch says this card synchro summon increase this or decrease this card's level by the tuner used as a material on the field you can change cupid pitch to a level two. Oh gosh Use the level 2 Cupid Pitch as a tuner with the Flamberge and then summon out Synchro 10. You can summon out this pattern because Flamberge is a dragon. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm mean, changing this to a level 6. Would you do that though? Could you use as a tuner 6? Oh my gosh. You could summon out Ancient Fairy Dragon by using one of the level 1s plus the level 6 Cupid Pitch. Go into Ancient Fairy Dragon and so add the chicken game? I don't know. Damn. Oh wow. I don't know. This is really interesting. Cupid Pitch now being legal because oh gosh. Plus this being legal. That's crazy. I, I don't know why no one's done this in Master Duel with Cupid Pitch. I mean the deck's kind of tight with maxi and its counters that you have as deck requirements in master duel so it might be viable cupid pitch might be viable in the tcg what do you think you could do with this do you think this is viable in the tcg it might be actually